Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 Bike Rack here on our 2021 Toyota 4Runner. Now this is a nice entry level platform style bike rack. It's going to hold the bike down here at each wheel with these ratcheting straps and with this clamp up on the center mast. These two operate independently, so if you have two bikes where you have to have the clamp set at the same height, it's not gonna conflict with each other, which I really like. That's a big sticking point for some racks that have this style of attachment. They do also rotate 360 degrees to accommodate for those different style frames, so that'll be really nice and work well with a variety of different bikes. You do have a 35 pound weight capacity per bike, so just make sure you are staying within that weight limit and you should be good to go. One thing that some platform racks have is an ability to tilt away with the bikes loaded. Unfortunately, the destination here does not have that, so you will be sacrificing that, but with a 4Runner, I do have plenty of space to get in here, and we have an extra large back window that slides down. It doesn't swing up like on some cars, so if I do need something out of the back, I can just use this. So for me, there's not much loss there. Now to get the bike unloaded, we're gonna start by undoing the wheel straps. Since those aren't holding the bike upright, I can do them with both hands. And then I can come up to the bike here. I can do the strap around the clamp while also keeping a hold on the bike here with the other hand. Then once we have that undone, I can rotate the clamp out of the way and just lift the bike up and off. I like how short that center mast is because it's really easy to lift the bike up over it or just work your way around it. And then once I've set that to the side, you can go ahead and replace our straps just to keep things nice and tidy. And then fold down this center mast. You can do that by just loosening this hand knob here enough to let this plate swing up and away, tilt this down, and then I like to get this where the clamps aren't in the way. And I like to use this strap right here to actually hold the center mass down, since there isn't anything from keeping it from popping up. This will actually hold it in place once we have it folded up. That holds it nice and tight right there. Now we can get some measurements. We're gonna start off with our ground clearance. We do have a pretty good rise in the shank here on an already tall vehicle. And the bike rack does slope down a bit here. So at the lowest point in the back here, we're gonna be working with 22 and a half inches of ground clearance. That's gonna be plenty. I don't think you'll have any issues bottoming out. And then for length added, we're going to be adding 28 inches to the back of our vehicle. So just watch out for that in any sort of tight parking spaces or garages. We can reduce that, like I mentioned earlier, by folding the rack upright. We have this knob on the end at this pivot point that we can undo and then reattach once it's folded up. I like this threaded knob a lot because it also kind of acts like an anti-rattle for this pivot point. Some bike racks at this point, you can see they have a lot of shake and play there, but once we have this tightened down, it really makes things nice and solid. So if we wanna leave this on between bike rides, it's ready to go when we need it. We're only gonna be adding about 15 inches to the back of our 4Runner. That's a lot more manageable, a lot easier and less obtrusive. Now down at the hitch, we can see that it'll work with an inch and a quarter or a two inch hitch with the included adapter. And it has a locking anti-rattle bolt keeping things nice and solid. It's nice that you can use it with two different sizes of hitch. So if you are swapping this between two different vehicles that have different sized hitches, you can. Or if you wanna upgrade to the four bike version of this rack, it will strictly work with a two inch hitch and have a higher capacity of four bikes. So if you are loading up your 4Runner with a ton of people, maybe look into that option too. And that's about it for the Hollywood Racks destination here on our Toyota 4Runner. Thanks for